Hi everybody, this is Derek with Tedler Garden Center and I have Sarah behind the camera. Hey everybody. And today we're doing, we're gonna start our garden tour videos, which I'm gonna do a tour probably that we pick twice a month and sometimes it will be in my garden and other times it will be at the garden centers, at the garden center garden. And it's just gonna be showing different plants and today we're at my own and to prove it, I'm gonna have you do a 360 to show them all the dinosaurs around. And that's how you know for sure. So many dinosaurs. For sure. So the first plant I wanted to show off are the Lenten roses that I just uncovered today. So I have, these are two different colors. This one is a double blooming white with a purple center, you can see. And then this one is a, a black one almost. It's, I think it's called black diamond. But these have been coming up all winter long. I've just kept the leaves on them because they literally just been pushing the leaves up They've been so vigorous to come up, but now that the weather is, looks like it's gonna stay consistently warm, um, I have uncovered them and now that's what they look like. And I do wanna remind people as we go along, this is the end of February, so I don't have a lot to show, but we're gonna see what we can find. So far, we got the Lenten roses and various daffodils starting to come up. Do you know what these are gonna be? What is that? They're gonna be snow irises. And then here's a little bit of crocuses here too various colors of um, bluish and purple and then I also have my pansy bowl waiting to go in I'm not quite ready to plant but soon I'll be taking out the Christmas pot above it in the blue pot and I'll be replacing it with a pansy bowl like that which a lot of people plant those a lot later than they should they might wait till mid-march end of March sometimes even April but those are very frost tolerant they're one of the most frost tolerant annuals you can get so they can easily tolerate temperatures in the teens and 20s. So a lot of people just wait a little longer than they really need to and they can enjoy the color for a full month. So I'll be putting mine in. Um, this will be the second year I've been able to get it in in uh, early part of March. And this side of my house is the south side. So it has the most blooms to look at because of that. And I have some snowdrops there. There's some daffodils coming out. Just lots of snowdrops. Now these snowdrops, I'll move out of the way so she can show it. Show it. Those are Glyanthus alwesii. These are the earliest snowdrop that you can get. They have been blooming. Usually they bloom for me in early January, sometimes mid-January. It really depends on the year, but this year they've been blooming all winter long. The first one started at Christmas, actually, and they're just been continuing and they just now reached full bloom. And surprisingly, this is what they look like after a low of five. So that's pretty, that's pretty strong in my opinion um, for those. So pretty happy with them, but they would have normally looked a bit better if it hadn't been so cold. But no complaints from me. And then we have, oh, I actually just noticed, look. Look, one of my crocuses is almost blooming right now, look. Ooh, I didn't, Yeah, so crocuses will obviously will be blooming. And if you actually zoom really close on that one, you can see the purple starting to show up on that one. So. In a couple days, I'll probably have crocuses starting to pop. And then also wanted to show this patch of daffodils is so close to opening. It'll be blooming probably, I think in a week. So pretty soon there'll be lots to see. And we're gonna go around. Oh, I gotta show Thuja. If you wanna look at. This is the most glorious dinosaur <laughs> and plant in his yard. Yes, this is an arborvita that's pruned in the shape of a T-Rex. And in another video, I'll show you how they do that. But I just wanted to kind of show that just for the sake of this one. This is one of the more eye-catching things in my garden, but that's all it is. I have to prune it about once a year to keep that shape. And we'll go to the west side of the house that has some more. Um, I'm gonna go right to showing off that favorite patch of snowdrops right there. It's just such a perfect clump. and. We actually saw a honeybee on it earlier, which is surprising because it was cold just literally two days ago, but apparently they're already out working, working. And then tulips. I got some tulips too. So there's a few things to see, but not a lot to see. So hopefully in future videos, I'll have more to show, but that is what I've got to show in this video. So we'll show you some future videos with more to see. Until then, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.